This newly minted real housewife has been skulking in her daughter's shadows for years. From high-profile gold digging to stirring up drama with her famous fam, it's Kathy Hilton's world, and we're all too broke to live in it. If we know anything about the Hilton family, it's that they don't exactly have a reputation for passing on a big inheritance to their kids. According to Reuters, hotel founder Conrad Hilton famously left nearly all of his fortune to the Conrad N. Hilton Foundation when he died in 1979. So I says, I'd like to buy your hotel. Here's where I don't become a banker and I'm going to become a hotel man. Son Barron didn't get any special treatment from his dad either. As Forbes noted, Barron started out as an elevator operator in one of Conrad's hotels. He eventually took over the empire, raking in $800 million in 2007 after selling Hilton Hotels to the Blackstone firm. Despite getting the short end of the stick from his own dad, Barron did the same thing to his kids, and he moved 97% of his fortune to the Conrad N. Hilton Foundation. Barron's son Richard faced the same time tough love. He was passed over in favor of son Stephen, who became president of the foundation. Apparently, Richard missed out because the family thought his wife Kathy was a little too eager to grab that Hilton cash. In the book, House of Hilton, Barron is quoted as saying of Richard, if he can't control his wife, how can he run my hotels? Richard and Kathy had four kids, Paris, Mickey, Barron, and Conrad. And by all accounts, they looked like a happy family. But insiders have reported that Kathy hired help and enlisted relatives to pitch in, too often farming out the child care at any chance she got. Uncle Eric Hilton's first wife, Patricia, had a lot to say about Kathy's mothering in House of Hilton. She recalled a time when Kathy asked if Patricia wanted to hold baby Paris. And when she said yes, she said of Kathy, she took off until that evening. Evening. I wanted to kill her. She didn't leave any instructions on what time Paris had to be fed. There weren't any diapers. She just left me in the lurch. In the midst of all of it, apparently Richard's mom, Marilyn, advised Patricia, Well, I guess you're it for the day. Kathy does this all the time. She just wants to go out, and she knew you'd take care of the kid. Kathy definitely had early aspirations of becoming famous. As a close friend once told Vanity Fair, of course Kathy wanted to be a star. Who didn't? Apparently, Kathy's mom, Big Kathy, hammered it into her kids' heads that wealth and success were the ultimate goals. But according to House of Hilton, when Kathy didn't hit it big, she placed those heavy ambitions onto her own children, especially Paris. Both Kathy and her mom determined that Paris would be famous. Big Kathy used to call her Marilyn Monroe, and the duo almost immediately tried to turn Paris into a child model. House of Hilton author Jerry Oppenheimer recalled his study of the family, telling Vanity Fair, I came away with sympathy for Paris. When she was a kid, she thought about becoming a veterinarian, but she had no chance to do anything but what she has done. My mom just wanted me to be a Hilton, and I just wanted to be Paris. Reportedly, Paris lost interest in the profession when she discovered that she could just buy animals instead. Conrad Hilton was famous for his work ethic and shrewdness. In his first ever hotel, he slept in the office so that every bed could be used for a profit. This entrepreneurial tactic meant that even Hilton family members didn't get special treatment in the hotels. But apparently, Kathy expected something a little extra. A manager at the time revealed in House of Hilton that Richard once demanded a special suite, recalling him saying, We like a nice California red wine and something white, and my wife likes seafood food, and then he demanded a babysitter. I had to convince the hotel's elderly German seamstress to do the sitting. The same thing happened at the other hotels. One staffer claimed Kathy pulled the Do You Know Who I Am card often, adding, The spotlight always had to be on Kathy. Kathy had a reputation for being overly demanding and entitled, especially towards Hilton employees. As one former staffer explained in House of Hilton, Kathy and Rick and the girls looked down their noses at the help and were very judgmental. Paris and Nikki were running loose in the hotel, were always trouble, and the mother always seemed to be coaching them. Kathy was absolutely pushy, arrogant, condescending, and presumptuous, and Paris picked that up from her. Well, you really better think twice. There were endless reports from hotel staff about the struggles of dealing with the family, and based on those accounts, it seems the socialite apples didn't fall far from the tree. 
When the Hiltons moved to New York, Paris and sister Nikki quickly became famous for their partying. And the press was all over it. Some outlets even blamed the wild behavior on a lack of parental guidance. Not only that, but there were claims that the girls were tarnishing the Hilton name too. An insider told the New York Post in 2000, "...it's disgraceful the way most of them act these days. If they had any respect for their families, they would keep their noses clean." I mean, I had to do what I had to do. Kathy says it was tough keeping tabs on her daughters. As she became worried about the growing fame surrounding Paris, Kathy recalled to the Lunch with Bruce podcast, "...when I saw all of this happening, it scared me, especially in New York. I used to call the city desk at the New York Post. At one in the morning, "'Excuse me, hi, it's Kathy Hilton. Uh, do you by any chance know Paris, where she is right now?' As was portrayed in the 2020 documentary, This Is Paris, Kathy and Richard sent their daughter Paris to the Provo Canyon Boarding School in Utah in 1996. The experience was traumatizing for Paris, and it altered her relationship with her parents, especially Kathy. On Paris in Love, the star recalled, At Provo, I was stripped of all of my human rights, cut off from the outside world. I wasn't able to speak to my parents for months. But that silence seemed to be an ongoing theme. When Paris released her documentary, Kathy didn't know what was coming. When she was asked if she knew about the experience being portrayed in the film, Kathy told Bustle, "...no. I kept thinking to myself, why wouldn't she say something? Why would she not say something? I also got into such a depression. I didn't want to talk to Paris about it too much until I had talked to a therapist." I felt like I was just kind of just sent away to be hidden. The mother and daughter have continued therapy together, much of which Paris has chronicled on her reality show. We are going to have fun tonight, and anyone that isn't, you can just watch us have fun. Kathy joined the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills for season 11, to the surprise and shock of her daughters. Paris and Nikki didn't know that their mom was even on the series until after she started filming. Nikki recalled on the podcast, This Is Paris, "...first of all, my mom was so shady about the whole thing. Pretty much every year this rumor surfaces, Kathy Hilton is joining the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills." And we're like, no, she's not. This year was no different. Apparently, when Nikki asked Kathy directly about it, Kathy denied it. She only later admitted that she was interested, but it looked like a long shot. Nikki added, "...cut to Paris and I in Soho walking down the street, and our friend FaceTimes us being like, "'I see your mom is on The Real Housewives.'" People Magazine just confirmed it. For Kathy's part, she didn't understand why her daughters would be so concerned. Telling Entertainment Tonight, "...I know that I'm not going to go and be cursing and starting fights with people." Kathy has been part of a highly publicized feud with her sister, OG Beverly Hills Real Housewife Kyle Richards, and much of their interaction is literally documented on the show, along with their sister Kim. But oddly enough, it was Bravo that mended their relationship. Kathy confessed to people, "...my sister Kyle and I had our ups and downs, so it was nothing that I wanted to watch. But Kyle convinced me to do it, and I was flattered. I thought it would be an opportunity for us to spend time together." I really missed her. In July 2021, Kathy opened up about her decision to join her sisters on the show. Telling Bustle, "...Kyle and I had issues for a long time, but we started getting in a better place. It was always maybe, never yes. Then I finally thought, you know what? What do I have to lose? I know I'm not a fighter unless I get pushed, and I'm not going to cuss or make a ridiculous fool out of myself." Thankfully, Kathy and Kyle have been able to mend their relationship, and this gift is not lost on Kathy. She shared with People, "...it takes time, but it feels so good to be where we are now, and I've really appreciated this time." Life is a poker game, and everybody's got to show their cards. Kathy, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> If there's one driving motivation in Kathy's life, it seems to be money. And by some accounts, she's been pretty clever, and even cutthroat about how to get it. Of course, that's in light of marrying into a very wealthy family who were ruthless about sharing the dough. But apparently, this initially created a problem for Kathy. She had a sterling last name and cultural cachet, but she didn't have the money to back it up. 
A friend close to her dished to Vanity Fair. It's why they cultivate friends that have jets and yachts. They like to hitch rides. If any more proof was needed, when the friend divorced her wealthy husband, Kathy sided with the money, even if she did have to befriend the new wife. The relentless desire for wealth also created some awkward social situations. As House of Hilton portrayed it, the entire family was pleased with the intense attention that Paris was receiving, no matter how she got it, alleging, they are proud of everything she has has done, even the video. When Kathy's mother died, the family hosted a wake at their home, and the friend who spoke to Vanity Fair also recounted, Paris had just turned 21, and the Hiltons had a running loop of footage from Paris's 21st birthday party up on their big screen TV. Rick was running around going, look at Paris! It was a promotion. But from what we know of Big Kathy, she probably wouldn't have minded that her favorite granddaughter stole the spotlight at her own wake. In 2005, Paris got engaged to Greek shipping heir Paris Latsis. The engagement lasted just five months, but came with a whopping 24-carat sparkler. Apparently, it was so valuable that Paris had several copies made so that she could wear replicas while jet skiing, for example, in case it fell off. But when the couple broke up, a different side of Kathy and Richard Hilton became apparent. As Jerry Oppenheimer wrote in House of Hilton, they were hopeful such an alliance would secure the family's fortune. Instead, Instead, the wealthy Greek family ignored Paris's parents when they traveled to visit them in Greece. To make matters worse, the Latsis family felt that Paris wasn't good enough for their son. Reportedly, the rumors were that it was his family who urged him to call off the wedding. Of course, Kathy wasn't one to take this lying down. Later, in the Hamptons, people overheard her saying that her daughter's former fiancé was, quote, lazy and spoiled, and that he lacked the gumption that Paris had to succeed on her own. Clearly, these two just were not meant to be. Paris then auctioned off her massive engagement ring to support the victims of Hurricane Katrina. Not spending any time crying over lost Greek dynasties, Paris has since gone on to marry venture capitalist Carter Ream. The couple tied the knot in 2021, much to the delight and approval of one Kathy Hilton. Well, as long as she got to do everything her way. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebrities are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.